So for a few years now, I have been observing strange details that connect Dedede to the Ancients. I already made a whole video about how Dedede is probably one of the four heroes of yore and related to the Ancients, which contained most of the details. I will summarize them here, but if you want to see the full evidence, then go watch the original. The first clue to finding out who the heroes are is to compare them to the four main Kirby characters or, or the four roles in the Clash games. DDD fits the bill for both as the Hammer Lord of the group and or the DDD of the group, obviously. The Ancients are divided into two main factions, Magic and Science Agents. DDD has lightning powers and connections to electronics and machinery. In all, all major science ancient areas, there are giant mallets like DDDs. Diddy has, a minor vi has minor visual similarities to Void's first form body, which is likely an amalgamation of memories of the four heroes. And finally, the king of the show, HRD3. There's already substantial evidence that HRD3 is related to DDD. For starters, he was in a cancelled Kirby game where he was a DDD robot. In Kirby Mass Attack Kirby Quest, he still is that DDD robot. Even still, in the final game, his name contains D3 like DDD. Underneath its shell, it has a beak like structure for the face. But now, with the new details in Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe, we can confirm this connection. First, Metal General's pause description. It says Metal General is designed to seek out targets and execute them. It also says that the one who used to command Metal General is long dead. This will be important later. HRD3's pause description has two important remarks as well. The robot has traveled through a portal from an unknown dimension, and the line, get ready for a dream battle with a king-sized warrior of steel. There's no way they didn't deliberately use the word king to describe him. But the nail in the coffin is the change of theme in HRD3's second phase. In the original game, it was Londia's theme, which is shared of all the Kalakandra bosses, but it wasn't anything special. But now, his theme is Roar of Dedede. This isn't a special remix for the arenas like in Star Allies with all the alternate themes, this is the theme used in the main game, well, the extra mode. And thanks to the intro cutscene to Magalore's epilogue, we know that extra mode is actually the canon version of the story. So this is the canon HRD3 theme. Also, some people probably didn't even think he was canon in the first place, but yes, he is. But well, wait, how can DDD be the master if the master is long dead? Finally, after all the these years, it's only been like a, one and a half years since I made this video, I can confirm that there is a DDD clan. In Kirby Right Back At You, DDD is adamant that Dreamland was ruled by a long lineage of DDDs, even going as far to make fake artifacts. DDD's family is also indirectly mentioned multiple times, usually implying that, he was a that they abandoned him or that they are long dead. Now we can finally say that DDD had at least one other member of his species that is now long dead. The only other explanation is that Metal General and HRD3 aren't related at all, but I find this hard to believe when they have the same face. However, I do still think Metal General repainted the robot to have his logo after the DDDs departed. Also, while everyone else seems to have very little reaction to Magalore putting on the Master Crown, DDD is shocked out of his mind. He's also shocked when Londia approaches Kirby. Could this be because he's already familiar with the two? DDD's hat is referred to as a crown in various descriptions, but it's the least crown looking crown I've ever seen. Perhaps the reason he made his crown look so untraditional was to distinct himself from the horrid kings that came before. The master crown is always pointed, jagged, and screams authority, but DDD's crown is round, has a little cap attached, and is overall friendly looking. Finally, in the DDD directory, which is something Hal posted on Twitter where DDD would talk about various Kirby characters, DDD mentions that HRD3 looks like him twice, which tells me that DDD himself likely never piloted it, or he's covering up his past, because he seems to be quite secretive and even protective of others' secrets in the DDD directory. But the most important detail of all of this is HRD3 shares a naming code with HRH, who lives on Shiverstar, which is Earth, which is the Forgotten Land, which means that DDD and his clan originated from the same genetically modified animals as the Beast Pack. That's not a theory anymore either. Descriptions for DDD has calls him penguin-like, meaning he's not actually a penguin. And what other way could this be possible other than that he is another being entirely that's been fused with the DNA of a penguin? 
This would even explain his weird behavior towards birds in Kirby Right Back at ya. One quote literally being, the only place I like to see a bird is on a plate, and having him having absolutely zero emotional reaction to a bunch of talking penguins showing up from who knows where and taking over Dreamland, and him bird watching in the Dinoblade episode. He just sees birds as animals because he's not actually entirely an animal. He could be part human. With all this in mind, I think back to that one comment that said DDD might have ears like Highness, and how Highness could be a heavily morphed human, and it almost adds up. Finally, that line about D about HRD3 coming through a portal through space and time, and being a dream battle, it's a meta-reference. Since the robot was taken out of a no longer canon scrapped game, they are saying they literally took the robot out from the void that that game fell into. These meta-references continue. From what we've gathered, DDD is a higher-up in the Lightron Works company. While Lightron itself split off into new companies, it's likely that Lightron was also a part of a bigger company. When you put together Hallline, Alival, and Lightron, what do you get? HAL. What would that company be called? HAL Laboratories. For a while, I thought Lightron on its own became the rest of the ancient corporations. But Lightron was only a company that did research into things, and they're the ones that figured out how to harness Elphilus's war power and provide electricity. Hallline would be the one to build the machines to actually use that power, and Alival would brand the whole operations. One of the first things we hear from the Forgotten Land is a song celebrating new moving to a new world. From our perspective, it's a song about how Kirby just ended up in this new world, but from the people who actually created the song, Nicho, it a song about leaving Earth. Back to Hallline. I believe they're responsible for the creation of HRH because Hallline is mostly known for creating vehicles and HRH can turn into one, also explaining the final H in his name. But we're not done yet. One final important detail is DDD's first main voice actor is Sakurai himself. Sakurai even expresses himself through DDD in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, showing his love for Kirby, being the hero, and DDD, the leader of HAL, leaves the company to form his own kingdom. This is just a little taste of all the meta-references and connections I've discovered in Kirby. You'll have to wait for a full thing. What do you guys think? Is all this evidence enough proof to call this canon? Or do you still think I'm an insane tinfoil hat clown? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget the land. And to like and subscribe.